What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 64 and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard. If you guys are not aware yet, over the weekend the open beta was available for both PC gamers and also Xbox players. And if you guys do remember, I played last week's uh, PS5 exclusive. But to be honest, I like this version the most because it's crossplay. I mean, this is going to be the actual full version when the game releases. So, so far I've enjoyed the game. I had fun. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding this game about being bad and all that stuff. I mean, it's just their opinion. I'm really not going to convince anybody, you know, different, but I enjoyed this game a lot compared to Cold War. I mean, Cold War, it was a total sweat fest. I was delayed one second against everybody else, and uh, it was completely annoying because I had to install attachments that allow me to aim faster against everybody else, and I had to pre-fire in every single corner. It's, it was super bad. I hated that game. It was a terrible game, in my opinion. If you guys liked it, I guess so. I mean, I'm not going to change your opinion about it, but I hated Cold War. It was a horrible game, and just jumping into this beta gives me a lot of hope that this game will be great. I mean, the beta maps were much better than Modern Warfare's one, so hey, that's a good step to the right direction. So besides being somewhat of a good beta, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys some of the negative things about this game, because I think some of the things that I mentioned on the first review did not change at all. There is still some audio issues, there's still some spawn issues, and also a kill streak glitch. So let me tell you guys about the first few issues that I mentioned before. Uh, the audio pop is back. Apparently, sometimes the audio will just maximize your bass, and it will just sound like it was like staticky and stuff. So it gets super annoying because it will catch you off guard, and you have to lower the volume of your TV. I'm not sure if it's my PS5 console or it's my TV or it's only happening to me, but I'm pretty sure there's been some audio issues mentioned. In before on Twitter and the actual account of Stitchhammer Games, so it's, an, it's, a, it's a real thing. I'm not making this up. <laughs> so uh, besides that, besides that audio issue of the audio pop, um, also there is low volume. So um, apparently, even when it hits it on, you won't be able to hear footsteps. It happens occasionally, like maybe every three matches, every three, four matches. You know, it, it gets very annoying for those headset users, people who bought expensive headsets. Yes, you won't be able to hear any footsteps at all. And that's another new thing that happened also on this beta is that uh, you won't be able to hear gunshots apparently. So it's true because in my screen, sometimes I won't be able to hear the enemy's gunshots. Even if they don't have a silencer on and they're using compensator or whatever, you cannot hear the enemy's gunshots. So yeah, there is some audio issues. Besides the audio issues, um, the spawn system has still needs some work, like big time work. I don't know how they came up with these spawns, but it's horrible. They added more spawn points, yeah, but the problem is most of these spawn points are next to each other. It occasionally happens in Red Star. It happens on the spawner maps too. You just spawn one room away from the enemy. It's horrible. <laughs> it's bad. If I were to give the spawn point a rating in this game, I would give it like a 2 out of 10 on the second beta. On the first beta, it was a 1 out of 10 because there was only 2 spawn points per map. And everybody would just spawn at the same point. And you just rack up a lot of kills on the same point. So it was it was bad in the first beta. And it's still bad right now. So they gotta fix the spawn points, man. Like I told you guys before, maybe they're doing this for a meme. Maybe they're just doing it for reactions, but developers, please fix this in the full game. This is a complete turnoff, and I'm telling you right now, people will quit the game if you guys did not fix the spawns, please. So, fix it. It's a big time thing. So, besides the spawns being broken and the audio issues, there's also a kill streak glitch. And I discovered this one. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, because I've seen people call this several times already, but it happened to me. So, if you guys use the artillery strike kill streak, sometimes you won't be able to throw down the flare. And when you cannot throw down the flare, um, your character will just put it away. <laughs> so, when you press R2 to throw it or whatever the throw button, it won't throw it away, it will just put it away. And when that happens, you won't be able to throw grenades or even smoke bombs or even call in your other kill streaks. It's super weird. It's a super weird glitch. I've never seen this before. Um, but it needs fixing because I wanted to call in an artillery strike on one of my games to make a comeback But I wasn't able to because I wasn't able to call in my artillery strike. So we lost by 50 points I mean literally we were just like a few points away from winning and all of a sudden I can't call in my artillery strike So I won't be able to change the tides of the game. So That sucked <laughs> So yeah, there's like some three big time problems in this game and I'm hoping they do fix it on the full release because like I'm telling you, some of these things are really complete turnoffs that will just make people quit the game. 
Um, some of the good things from this game is that the weaponry is actually pretty good. I had there's a big selection. You can turn them into assault rifles. You can turn assault rifles to SMGs and SMGs to assault rifles, which is not bad. It's a good customization option. There's a lot of good sights too. I mean, like the ones that I'm using right now in the background, they're pretty good looking. I can see down the field pretty clear compared to Cold War. So uh, I know I'm like dissing Cold War hardcore, but that game really made me quit Call of Duty for a whole year. And then playing this game. I think I'm gonna jump back to it, bro. Like, I'm serious about this. Like, it's a good game overall. I mean, I'm getting dogs, I'm getting the flamethrower guy. Speaking about the flamethrower kill streak, you have infinite flame. <laughs> so you can just hold on to the shooting button forever and just burn everybody down the way. I mean, it's it's amazing, it's fun. That was pretty fun to use, to be honest. Compared to the grenade launcher and the other gun turret one, the flamethrower guy is the best kill streak that I've enjoyed the most. You know, I miss using the Juggernauts in the older CODs, but this one's pretty fun too, because it's flamethrower, I mean. It's a little bit weak, to be honest, on the flame. Sometimes it takes a while to kill an enemy, but you'll kill them. <laughs> if, they, if they come at you in a big group, it's pretty much fun to use, because you can kill a bunch of them in such a quick second, you know. So, um, besides all that, the perk system is not bad, to be honest. I think it kind of nerfs um, stealth, but uh, it's okay, I mean, it's fine. I have several games already in this game. I crossed 50 kills in several games, so I mean, I did a hell of a job. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great game to be honest. I, I like this game. I'm hoping in the full release it actually fixes some some of the issues that I mentioned today. So, are the maps bad? No, like I said before, they're better than Modern Warfare's beta. So. That is it guys I want to talk about today. If you guys got any questions, any moans, groans, or complaints, leave it in the comment section and I'll read it later. So that is it. Leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next one.